Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! Raiders! We a nation of raiders! It's a nation of raiders! We a nation of raiders! It's a nation of raiders! We a nation of raiders! It's a nation of raiders! We a nation of raiders! It's a nation of raiders! Welcome to a new day, step up in the oracle! Silver and black, you know we so historic! Many backbreakers, many chain treasures! The other teams only wish they could measure! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torgerson and joining us today is Lamar Houston. Lamar is number 99, defensive end. He's in his fourth year in the NFL and fourth year with the Raiders. He attended high school at Doherty in Colorado Springs and later went on to attend the University of Texas. Hi, Lamar. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. It's always good to see you. You're always smiling and happy. It's nice to see you, too. My mom said I was a happy baby. <laughs> good. You are. You're a happy man, too. Thank you. So what made you choose? Um, what was your major, first of all, in college? It was uh, corporate communications. And what were you hoping to obtain with that? Um, I, I thought I wanted to do a little bit of commentating or, or sports casting uh, when I first went to school, but I picked a degree that you could use in any field that was uh, very diverse. Nice. Now, going back to high school, can you please tell students out here how you balance sports and also academics? Well, uh, you know, thank God I had a mother who preached education was very important, and so did my father. And uh, the main point for me was just made sure I made time for everything on a schedule and stuck to that schedule uh, sort of like a discipline so that way I wouldn't get behind or, or, or try and find myself rushing to catch up. That's good. So as far as um, diet advice, what kind of advice would you give students to eat a healthy, nutritional diet? Um, you know, fortunately, I mean, I, when I was younger, we used to think that, you know, because you're young, you can eat whatever you want. But, um, you know, now with all, the, with all the advances we have and technology and whatnot, we find out that later on these things are catching up to you. So, you know, I just suggest that they, they eat, you know, what's on the periodical, t I mean, the food pyramid with, you know, your veggies, your wheats, and your grains, and things like that, and your meats, and just make sure they're the proper proportions and not to overeat and things like that. Now, as far as exercise, what kind of recommendations do you have for students on a daily level to stay fit and stay in shape and still stay motivated to keep doing it every day? Well, you know, when I was younger, I liked to, you know, just get outside and probably play a game of pickup with my friends or run around, play tag or, you know, do something, do something creative, you know. Uh, we used to have, uh, you know, probably not. We used to have, to, you know, where they 500, you throw the ball up and, you know, people catch it and run and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just try and stay as active, active as possible, bike rides, hiking, things like that, just to keep your metabolism burning, keep your, keep your body flowing with that blood. That's good. So just stay moving, stay basically stay moving. So um, as far as injury prevention, what do you do to prevent injury? Uh, you know, really, I, I uh, pray with my mother and father. I'm a strong believer in that God protects you. But other than that, you know, you have to put work into it. You have to stretch and do that at night. You have to work on your core and things like that and make sure your body stays in line and loose so that way you prevent yourself from reaching muscle tears and things like that. Well, and hydration? Of course, hydration is very important. Water, you know, G2s, things like that to keep you hydrated, putting those electrolytes back in your body and things like that. Excellent. So um, what kind of advice would you have for a student that maybe wants to uh, go to college and pursue their dreams that way academically? I would say, you know what, just spend, spend more of your time learning and doing whatever you can to to increase your intellect outside of just your schoolwork. So, you know, try and pick up a book or, or try and read a sports magazine or a magazine, anything that sparks your intellect to keep your, keep your mind flowing and just keep you able to, to progress and, 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 and move forward in your schoolwork and things like that. And always stay on top of your schoolwork and do the best you can do and never be afraid to ask for help because no one knows it all. I love that. I think it's important to ask for help when you need it. So growing up, did you ever encounter peer pressure or bullying? 
Uh, yeah, my seven siblings. Nah. <laughs> Um, no, I, I never really did. Fortunately for me, I was always the bigger kid, but I was always just a friendly person. So I never really encountered it, never really bullied anybody. But, you know, I just you know if someone's coming at you or, or trying to bother you or picking on you, it's probably something wrong with them more than there is something wrong with you. And, uh, you know, stuff like that, you just got to try and go to an adult and talk to them and try and get the problem solved before it escalates to anything else. Now, growing up, did you have a mentor, somebody that you looked up to that maybe gave you advice? Uh, my father, yes. My father was a huge influence in my life. Uh, he was my hero. He, he worked very hard, and he provided for a family at eight, and uh, he didn't, didn't go to middle school, didn't go to high school, um, didn't go to college, but was able to, thank God, be taught by God by reading the Bible. And, and doing extra readings to where he made his reading level up to a college level graduate. So, yeah, it's very impressive. And uh, I thank him every day because he showed me what hard work really pays off and what, what, true work ethic is, what true work ethic is like. It's very important. So um, now you're kind of a role model and a mentor for young kids. What advice would you have maybe to students out there? What kind of, kind of advice could you give them that maybe you've learned along the way? Um... You learn that when you when you when you're growing up, you think that some things are a priority that probably isn't, and uh, what what really is most important is that you you do your schoolwork, put put that first, and find an avenue for you to flourish and to use your schoolwork or use things from school to be successful, and uh, that's what I really learned so far throughout life is uh, you know if you if you find something that you're good at, you enjoy you can flourish and if you put put more work into it it'll give back to you and just just work hard that's good well it's been really nice chatting with you you know i have one more question for you can you please explain to students out there what your job is on the field as a defensive end what do you do destroy the quarterback you <laughs> I like that attitude. destroy the quarterback and uh, make plays on the running back that's my job Good. It's always nice talking to you. You gave some amazing advice today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm Melinda Torgerson. This has been another edition of The Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. We'll see you next week.